Hello and what is up everybody, Cliff B here once again playing some more Minecraft XL from North Stone, my hardcore world. Which, this is day four. Now if I survive just one more day, I would have survived longer on my second attempt than I did on the first attempt. Where we last left off. Okay, I am getting sound. Like, the fuck am I not hearing anything? But anyway, when we last left off, I was working on this place here. So I got the basement done. The second floor is starting to come up. So, yeah. And now... Oh, yeah, the second floor is starting to come up. I still need to actually find more in the way of diamonds. But actually, I think the plan was not to... Uh, well, I found diamonds, but I'm going to wait until I get fortune. And then once I get fortune, I'm going to put it on my pickaxe. And once I put that on my pickaxe, then I'll mine the damage. Which means I actually need iron, now that I think about it. Jesus, oh boy. Anyway, uh, let me get to actual work. Where is... Okay, I don't have any more glass. So do I have any more sand? There should be in variable soils if I do. I do. Not much, but it's something, right? Something, something. Put that sand in there, smelt the sand. I got the bucket so I can make a sugar cane corn. Sugar cane corn? What the fuck's a sugar cane corn? You know what? Uh, let me fix some of these potholes. Because there seems to be like a shit ton of potholes, like every which where. And I mean every which where. At least stream water break. Gotta do it. Alright. These are extra chests for the sake of just having them. Yeah. Alright, so do I have any more metal? I mean, I definitely do. Metal chests. So let me go ahead and make an iron axe. And an iron sword while I'm at it. Um, sticks, I think I put in miscellaneous. So, where's miscellaneous? There we go. I got them. I know where they're at. Alright. That's just because I'm going to have to be chopping down some trees. And that's about to break anyway. And while I'm at it, let me get an iron sword, just so I can get that damage. damage. Alright. So, there we go. And I can actually put away the stone sword. Because even though it's still useful, you know, there's plenty of life in that stone sword. Here's the thing. At the end of the day, um, tools is right here. At the end of the day, if I encounter something, it's better just to do more damage than it is to, like, Whittle down a stone sword, if you will. There's that there. Let me get a few more chests. A um, few more. Well, it looks like I'm only getting four more torches. That's fine, maybe. Corn of soda. Alright, so let's do that. Um, let me put away the metal. Look on the chest, it says metal, in order to put away metal. That might make a wee bit, just a tad bit of sense. And uh, let me put away the sticks. Where's miscellaneous? Right here. Alright. There we go. So there I go. Oh, right, I forgot to get the dirt. Because I want to fill in the potholes from where the creepers exploded. So I think I'm going to use, like, polished diorite walls around the village. Or maybe polished andersite. Who knows? Could be a possibility. Could not be a possibility. We'll see what happens. But let me grab a lot of dirt. Because you can go through this stuff quite fast when you're filling up potholes. Alright. So let's grab the dirt. Let's fill up those potholes. You know... Let's not have the village look like it's been turned into a war zone and it's absolutely blown up over and over again, even though it has been pretty much blown up over and over again. 
I ain't gonna act, pretend like some care went into this village here. Or some care exists in this village. Also, I think I gotta get those villagers breeding because I'm starting to notice their numbers are thinning out quite a bit. Okay. Now the problem is with how hodgepodge this village was set up, I'm not sure what's like actual like, you know, creeper damage and what was just like the village looking bad in the first place. Which, if you design your village to look like it's already been blown up by a creeper and creepers blow up, like, that's amazing, I guess? And then, yeah, there's way too many farmers. So I'm gonna have to make a lectern to turn some of these farmers into, like, um, other professions. Which means I'm gonna have to get rid of the, um,. Oh, where's my shovel go? I think it might have broke. I think it might have broke. Alright, so let's do some pathing throughout this village here. So let me grab the cobblestone here. Um, do I not have a shovel? I have a stone one. And that's fine. And basically what I mean by casting is basically on the edges here. Just gonna do this. Can you piss off? Thank you. Should really not be using my diamond pick for something so basic like stone, but hey, it is what it is. And I'm not one of those crazy uh, people who go crazy about tools and tool durability and not wanting to use something up. It's like at the end of the day, that's the point of the game. Those tools exist just so they can be used up, not so you can keep them forever. Alright, and... Good, good. So I can do this and that. Those means if this path gets destroyed, there's no way of me... F um, And yes, I realize if I use slabs, then I can save on a lot of this cobblestone. But let's be real here, it's not like cobblestone is a precious resource by any means. Alright, so I cannot touch that into the brass girls there. See, look at that. Just a minimal amount of, like, TLC is already starting to look a lot better than how we found it. How I found it. And you know what I'm gonna do? Or for those, that's good. Four, four of those, and that's good. There we go. And I'll show you why I'm doing that in a second. So let me go to sleep first. Almost, almost got, I mean, almost slid off to bed. And don't worry, my bed's not staying down here. That's gonna go upstairs. And the reason why I did that is simple. So what I'm gonna do is on these corners, like whenever it's going up a terrain, that and that and then, boop and boop. There we go. And then we do the same on the corners. So this corner here, this corner here. And boop. And then boop. That makes it just looks a wee bit nicer. here sounds like good because that's already yep of course it breaks of course it breaks not to mention my cobble anyway all right so I gotta leave some of that as uh, grass so the grass spreads and then we can get the grass passed then I can put up those walls 
it'll look nice, okay? And yes, having things look nice matters, damn it. And unfortunately, I don't think I can do anything with the cracked stone bricks to make them into regular bricks. Because you already get the crack in the first place. You have to take stone brick and you have to cook it one more time and that cracks the brick. So that sucks balls. But what I uh, should do... Get some oak, because I do want fences. Okay, this one is the most easiest form of defense, is just putting up a fence around the whole village. It takes a lot of materials, don't get me wrong. There's no easy way to build a fence. But, we get that fence up, then I can torch the village completely to get the village nice and safe. And once the village is nice and safe, then I can start building farms. Because what I want to do is take that area where the beehive is at, right? Make that into like a glass house in order to grow my crops, essentially. Alright. Boy, see a dark cave over there. Alright, this axe is about to break. What is up, oh, Jaded Fairy? How are you doing? And welcome to stream. You're current. Um, this is my hardcore world, and I'm in the middle of trying to set up some defenses for this village here because it's kind of been raided almost every night by zombies and creepers, and it's getting a tad bit annoying. Because the landscaping is starting to look like some type of horrible battlefield. Came back to my house, forgot I made an iron axe for a reason. Damn it! I hate when I forget I have stuff in my own inventory. Golems? Well, even the golems are starting to get beat up a bit. So while golems are nice and all, I can't exactly rely on them for 21st turn protection when the golems can die, you know? If there was immortal creatures, that'd be another thing. But yeah, you see, like, look at what my golem looks like. Like, look at this guy. He's some seeing some shit, man. Okay. Okay. I don't even know where the other ones are at, because there used to be more golems, but I don't even see them. There used to be more villagers, but... Wait, where did my villagers go? Oh, there's my villagers. Okay, good. So I do have villagers. They are making little kid villagers, which is good. I'm not sure what happened to this house. That may or may not have been me. I'm not sure. I'm going to pretend it wasn't me. But, you know, I'm running low on villagers and golems. should decay, right? There we go. So that's the problem when a tree goes too close to a house. They don't decay naturally because the house wood keeps them there. So right now, I'm collecting wood so I can get the fences put up. Then I can torch said fences. Not as in torch and burn them, I mean torch and light them up. But yeah, like every golem in the village is starting to look like that. And while I can just light up the place, that still doesn't change the fact that, you know, they can just walk in because everything around it would be dark. So it's time for some villager defense. Okay, because I like to keep these guys alive so I can get the librarians, as well as toolsmith and armorers, and weaponsmiths. So that way I can just straight up just trade um, emeralds for like diamond tools and armor and weapons. There's some form of a chant on them already. Grab 
rather than having to, you know, mine the earth and hope that I find the diamonds when the villagers can magically just pull them out of thin air if I just upgrade them to the master tier. Okay, got a little bit of single player lag there. I'm not sure how single player lag works in a single player world, but it is what it is. Well, cat, you are black, so... Oh, you're still alive somehow. I guess it's not true what they say about black cats. Alright, oh, I shall also be breeding the kitties, I mean the cats. So that way the cats act as natural creeper repellents and just have them sit throughout the village. Yeah, but that involves taming and fishing and... I mean, I do have a fishing rod for a reason. Why is this tree still here? Oh, one piece of wood. One piece of wood that I miss that keeps that entire thing still there. Gosh darn it. Wait, can I get natural decay? That'd be nice. I mean, not natural decay. The good old fashioned lumberjack mud or decapitator mod where you chop that one block and it brings the whole tree down with it. Rather than this nonsense of like, hey, this tree's gonna stay here forever because it's like one piece of wood. Just a wee bit annoying. Just a wee bit. Mm. Alright, so I should have more than enough wood. I am going to go ahead and take out all these damn composters. Because there's too many farming villagers, alright? There's too many of them. I need them to change some classes here. So let's get rid of these composters. All these villagers are going to be unemployed. For a little bit. Until I decide what their employment is going to be. But that should take them out, because I think this village only has, like, two farms. Still see a couple of farmers, but once they realize their source block is gone, they should just change into regular villagers. Ouch, snap the back and crack the spine. You hate to hear it, but you gotta do it. Alright, now that's done. Time to build an incredibly long wall. So I'm gonna need a shit ton of wood for this. There we go. And I need a crap ton of sticks for this. Alright, so I should be able to make a ridiculous amount of Alright. And something telling us is still not gonna be enough. Dang it, no. Alright, put this in my offhand, so if I have to break something, I can. Wait, nah, this is pointless here because I can just do this. Oh crap. No nighttime. None of that. Wall's not up yet. Can't have these creepy crawlies starting to. Oh my gosh, will you go down? Thank you. Can't have these creepy crawlies coming out this early. Not ready. Just not ready. Are we doing that? Hold on, I gotta do something real quick. So. There we go.
A literal guy. Hello and welcome to stream. I, Ava X, humbly submit a toast to Nicholas for successfully managing to pirate or trace it. Is that a Reddit thing? That feels like something I would see on Reddit. It's a copy pasta. It's a Reddit thing. I knew it. I flippin' knew it. I'm flipping fuming. Race simulator. Oh shit. Are they still working on the uh, Yandere simulator? Or no, they gave up. Psh. Wow. Oh boy. That's a statement and a half there. Anyway, welcome a little guy. I'm currently putting up the villagers defense system, aka a fit. Because I would like for this village to be safe during all times of the day. Because it currently is not. You know, this might be partly my fault, it might not be, you know. Like you would think with how much danger there are to a village that they would naturally spawn with a fence or like a partial fence around them. Just saying. You know what I mean? Like, why is that not a thing in Minecraft? You got, like, abandoned portals for the lore reasons. But meanwhile, villagers that get attacked by anything and everything still don't spawn with a natural fence in front of them. Like, dang it, Mojang. Fix your lore, damn it. How far out am I going? About this far, so one second. And I can start curving in this here. Also, how have you been a literal guy? I haven't seen you in a long time. I know you was here a few streams ago, but it didn't seem like you stayed for any particular reason. Put it in your hot bar. And welcome to the uh, me placing fences over and over stream as I just continuously place fences in order to protect these villagers who seem to have no natural defense but lots and lots of enemies for some unknown reasons. It could be because the fact they keep offering rip off deals. Who knows? All I know is uh, hashtag protect the villagers 2020. Alright, now that one, that, whatever that was, random skit. Alright, how many more fences am I going to need to get all these villagers into protection zone? Fences again. Oh, I'm completely out of fences. Dang it. Well, uh, that's okay. That's okay. Just litter the village with crafting benches because I'm too lazy to go back to my original one. Oops, not what I meant to do. Hey. 
There we go. All right. Damn it. This is why I have the axe in my yawn fan. I mean, main hand. Just so if any mistakes like that is made, I can quickly fix it. Alright, and how far are we going to have to go this far out? Damn it. Connect, please. Thank you. Watch this dumbass villager gets himself trapped outside the fence. I'm not putting in a gate for you, you know. There's going to be one way in and out this village, and that's going to involve carpets that you guys can't jump over. And don't tell me I'm out of fences already. Gosh, flipping darn it. How much fences does it take to fence in a village? Apparently a lot. I think I already have like a... Should have like another... Crafting bench already in here. Nope, I took it out. Dang it. Oh well, just make another one. Um, oh, I'm completely out of wood as well. Well, that's a bit awkward. Alright. Uh, one of these oak trees has a B on it, so I can't mess with that oak tree. But the rest should not. Where's the oak tree with a B? Alright, definitely not this one. Might be this monster tree right here. what happens when it happens. Wait, not this one. Hmm? Oh, leather worker. I'm like, what the hell is that sound effect? Did I remember leather worker exists? So it's probably one of them using a cauldron. Okay, it's not this tree. Dude, that's just a regular monster tree. So what's the tree with a beehive on it? Oh, it's this one. Wow, it picks like that tree out of everything around it to put a beehive on it. It is soon as right. is that all the woods? Okay, it's decaying actually, so that's all of them. and I hope that's all of them. This right here. Down in 
there should be enough wood for iron golems. There should be enough wood to finally fence in the rest of this village here. But we'll see, we'll see. Also, shit, it's going dark. I'm gonna go ahead and commandeer this house real quick. Turn that into woods. More crafting dungeons. I mean, this villager does know he's better not sleep in that bed because I commented that bed already, right? Nines. Okay. Mine. Not yours, villagers. My bed. Alright, you can piss it off. Alright. Over here is the entrance to the village. Yep. All right, so that is the entrance to the village. I mean, that's mostly protected, right? Yeah, that's mostly protected. Hey, you got yourself on that side of the fence. I'm not helping you back in. Right? No one told you to get yourself on that side of the fence. I mean, even though it's quite easy to come back in the fence, because it's not even a complete barrier yet, Still not my responsibility to help you back in. What I'll do is go ahead and mostly torch it up. That's good. And now I need to make like a safe area around that um, bee tree. Right. I'll put like a tree there. Tree here. Completely forgot it's completely unprotected where my house is at. So that's awesome. Did I really put a crafting bench next to a crafting bench? I really just did that, didn't I? Oh, yep. And just gonna go ahead and eat those in there. Absolutely did that. When did I do that? Well, that's what I get for not noticing the crafty bench. I was already there. I'm just gonna put that there. As soon as I get to my own house, it's just gonna be like, what? You need a crafting bench right by the door. You don't even need to walk any further. Crafting bench. Boom. All right. Now this that's it's nowhere near done. There's only so much I can spend on one task. What is up, Moan? How are you doing? How have you been? Hopefully everything is good with the... You said your job was cabling, right? Like you work for a cabling manufacturer? Hopefully everything is good with that. And hopefully you're doing good and remember to take care of yourself. Put that in there for now. Season going there. Uh, this dirt can go in here. Actually, I'm gonna kid him. Gonna need some dirt. Go 
Wood can go in there. And I'm gonna need torches. Ah, crap, I used all my torches. Glass planes. Good, okay. And that is good to hear. As for me, this is currently my hardcore world. So it's only day four, which is why I'm still like plebeian everything plebeian armor, plebeian house. You know, everything's pleb, pleb, pleb. Everything's pleb. But it's slowly getting there. Okay. I mean, would I like it to be much nicer and presentable and something that I can just, you know, turn on the shaders and look at with pride? Yes. But that takes time. Alright, I'm leaving that one below so I can actually get up here. I think that's as high as it's going to be. And then what I want to do is go ahead and cap this off here. Don't break it across, and then the roof, I'm pretty sure it's just going to be a regular wooden roof. Oh, I actually do need oaks to finish these pillars to the roof. And do I still have fences on me? I do, thankfully. Because I want to go ahead and do this real quick. There we go. Are you effing with me? No! Get out of here! Oh my gosh, these damn villagers and their damn pathing. Note to self, put the villagers in a breeding hall for their own good. Make it make. That's gonna be the call right there. Now then, uh, I mean, composter is definitely all wood, so I can put that in here. I can go in there, that can go in there. Gonna need some more stone cooking. This is all the stone I have. Great. Alright, note to self. Gonna need to get a lot more stone. I need stone, I need torches. Uh, I think sucks. Um. Also made a crap ton of glass panes that I apparently don't need right now. Great. I can put away the dirt for now. Uh, do I have any more sticks in the miscellaneous chest? I do. And in there. Boom. Torches. Good. So that's done, and what I'm going to do is basically to get these villagers out of my bloody hair. Gonna have to make one of these farms, because they can pick up crops themselves. So I think what I'm going to have to do is like convert like a farm into a certified breeding hole for them, so they stay out of my way. I'm tired of seeing you villagers, alright? Also, dang it, I forgot to fix this blast hole. Hey, hey. Oh, that. You know, I'm getting super distracted oh. by nothing. Uh, where's the sugar cane? Let me plant the sugar cane. Let me go ahead, grab dirt here. Fences, uh, make some wooden slabs. I got an idea here. Um, what seeds do I have? Yeah, that can work. Take those seeds. And let me see, where's the food chest? Food, food, food. There we go. So take that, take that, put that in there. Can you get out my house, mate? That'd be great. Real great. 
great. Oh, right, bolts. I can just put them all in bolts and I'll get them from moving around. that will keep them from moving around. And that should be nice and cheap. Okay, completely remember bolts existed. Good. Hmm? I was picking up water. Lead me to, like, get the recipe for a cauldron. I don't know. But, not my concern. So this tree here is the bee tree. That's the tree where the bee is at. So what I'm gonna do is simple. It's not turning nighttime, is it? Oh, fuck, it's turning nighttime. Okay. I don't have good enough armor to survive a fight. Yeah, you could stay there. Yeah, get wrecked by a fence that you can easily walk around. But get wrecked, mate. Ouch. Snap the back and crack, crack the spine. I hate to hear it, but sometimes you just gotta do it. I'm sorry, did the villager that was standing there just disappear? Like, did he despawn? What happened there? I would like answers. I'm very confused about what happened. Me, me. So, 4x4 four four area. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oops, I can leave the sand there. By 1, 2, 3, 4. Four. Oh, okay. So that could be left there. My well, last event. Oh, wait. I'm stupid and I need a shovel. Let me go ahead and grab a shovel. Putting them in bolts for a proper Viking. <laughs> hey. I mean, I'm not saying. It's gonna be a Viking funeral. I'm just saying, like, if they keep moving around where I don't want them to be at, might have to, you know, cause them to sit still. And a boat will cause them to sit still, that's for sure. Anyway, let me go and get a shovel. And let me make a pickaxe that's not my precious diamond one. So I'm gonna put, uh, metals. Iron shovel, nope, I need more than that. Alright, breaking down another block of iron. Great. Um, do I have sticks on me? No sticks. I can make sticks, that's fine. Alright, so let me go ahead and make this here and that. So I can do this and this. Boom. So now I have a shovel, I have an iron pick, I'll put away the diamond one, keep that for later uses. Let me see, what can I get on this iron pick so far? So at max level, efficiency one, efficiency one, efficiency one, wow! Just wow, efficiency one. Should I try this just in case it's like efficiency one, unbreaking one, or, you know, I'll go with this one. Alright, one level. That's it. Oh, wait, that should probably see what I can get on my shovel as well. And come here, you. You, what can I get on a shovel? If it's the one, if it's the one, unbreaking one. Oh boy. Of course it's just unbreaking. I actually needed that efficiency. That would have been better than unbreaking. Oh, dang it. I got bamboozled. Absolutely bamboozled. 
Or I could just do the carpet in front of their door tricks to trap the villagers in their own houses because they don't know how to walk over carpet for I don't know what reason. Yeah, I would have really preferred if this was like... Oh crap, I forgot to make a hoe. Always manage to forget something. And a hoe is one of them. Alright, let me make a hole real quick. You can iron one. Don't care about that, don't care about that. Crap, let's not fall to my death. This is hardcore. No coming back after dying here. Alright, be careful not to hit the bee. So I don't think the bee is going to care that much if this tree goes bye-bye. Because I think that itself is a solid block, so I should be able to destroy this piece of wood. There we go. Alright. So, that's now a beehive that's going to be working for me. And what I should do in order to get max efficiency is do this and this. Now, I'm not going to be able to get honey from this beehive, but honestly, I don't give a crap about honey. I really don't. Get rid of all of that. Now then, it's four out from this beehive that matters, so actually let me get rid of all this. And then, can I put a torch on the... Can I put a torch on this thing so it actually acts as a sort of a silver light? Yes, I can! And luckily, bee don't care. The bee will still just go into his nest. Alright. Just like the tree's gone, and there's like a torch on his beehive, and the bee's like, eh, whatever. Home sweet home. The lack of damage that bee gives is amazing. Alright, so four out. So one, two, two, three, four. There we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. Now, what I can do is, so I can make this super easy to find in the future, is do this. Boom. Make some sandstones. And there we go. Sandstones at the corner. What is up, Flock? How are you doing? Walk up the street. Ouch. Snap the back and crack the spine. You hate to hear it, but you gotta do it. So I'm currently making a farm here. What is the flying range of a bloody bee? Actually, don't need that block there. Just need to remember. Now, this won't be covered by any pre existing water blocks, so I have to do one out. So, from. Oh, crap. So, one. Two, three, four. That's as far as this one's gonna go. So that needs to be a water block. Alright. And one, two, three, four. This needs to be a water block. Sup, B. Okay. Did not care that I existed at all. 
But uh, I still say it's absolutely terrifying that the fact that, like, Minecraft bees is over, like, one cubic meter. Like, the type of nightmare fuels. Like, imagine if you had, like, bee allergies or bee fears, and you saw a one um, cubic meter bee. How much freak out would that cause, you know? And say one cubic meter bee that's able to fit in a bee a one cubic meter beehive with three other bees. Which is amazing. Oh boy, there's more viewers here than I thought there was. Flock. Is these your other accounts? Is that how you make the viewers go up? doesn't matter. It actually just helps me in the long run. So I'm not complaining. Right, and how many farms do I need? Wheat, carrots, potatoes, beets. One, two, three, four. Oops. Alright, so do this here. Let's actually skip that all into the bed. Unless you want me to. <laughs> Well, I'm pretty sure these are just lurkers. Get the hell out the bed, mate. My bed. F you, villager. Ah. Ah. Alright. Also, I gotta remember this is technically a. Oh, awesome, mate. Completely effed up with these plots. I completely effed up. What is your title? Why is my title not updated? I updated my title before a stream, but I think what happens is when I go and I... There. Oh boy, that might explain why some viewers weren't coming in. Because I'm pretty sure I get more for like Minecraft than I do for Titanfall, even though I love Titanfall. Gosh, darn it. You know what I think it is? Because I updated my title on Twitch rather than OBS, when OBS was updating the title, it updated the title back to what it was yesterday. Gosh, darn it. Well, that explains some things. Thanks, Flock. Yeah, I completely put these in the wrong spot. Absolutely in the wrong spot. Because if I really want efficient use out of, like, water, right? I have to remember, it's a four block radius. And so I don't want the water to be, like... This is, um, not just wheat, this is all the crops, but I just want this to be one, two, three, four, and then, actually, hold on, four. Okay, nope, that's gonna have overlap. So it's gonna be wheat, carrots, potatoes, but I'm just making sure that all the plots are optimized, because there's water on a this beehive here. And water hits a four block radius in terms of hydration. So like, basically like that. And so I don't want like any crosstalk, like I don't want like a water that's hydrating something that's already been hydrated by another block. Mm. 
that's why I'm trying to place out these waters eight blocks apart. So that way they're not just hydrating the same area. Because that would be a waste. Okay. Really loud car in the background. <sighs> Can't wait for this runner situation to end so everybody who's driving like a maniac right now thinking like, there's no speed limits, cops won't catch me, they're too busy dealing with the people without masses. Every last one of them stops this nonsense because it's just like every damn day. Every damn day with these damn cars. I'm lazy and just a lot of water on the slabs. Low. Yeah, but that takes more effort than the one block trick. Because then you have to skip up that water, place it down, skip it up, place it down, skip it up, place it down. When you do the one block trick, you're not doing that. You're only placing out water where there needs to be water. I'm glad Minecraft at the jumping mechanic, where if you can barely reach a block, you keep jumping, you're allowed to mine it. Yeah, but then I have to count. Oh my gosh. You don't understand, man. It's the counting that gets you in the end. One, two, three, four. Alright, good. One, two, three, four. Alright, finally. So this is where a water block has to go. I'll keep that there just as a point of reference. Although I do have to clear all this out because crop won't grow as quickly as possible if there's like stuff above it. So yay for unnecessary like clearing stuff out because I can't move the beehive. I don't have like um fortune I mean silk touch to move the beehive. And nor do I want the bees to die, you know? there. That one point of health taken away from me. Whatever I'm gonna do, that half a heart, I can never financially recover from this. Oh, memes. I love memes. Wait, was I supposed to take away two? Damn it, I was supposed to take away two. Alright, back up. There we go. I hope he sees the View about. I told the view about a secret chest in order to trick someone to try and steal it. <laughs> Did they try? Just knowing the server, I'm pretty sure I can probably guess who tried to. Fucking hell, damn it! Like, knowing the server, if you said it was a chest for a view, I'm pretty sure I'd know who went out there to try to get that chest. Okay. Ouch, my... Why? There we go. Alright, there we go. That's one done and now this one, one two three four so the water does have to go here so we get the most out of this plot and this need to go three out in this direction no one touched yet wow Could be like they know you're obviously trolling them, or they're just being careful about it, you know? 
They can't reveal that they're a troll all along. Let's be honest, we kind of know who would do the trolling. And the people who would do the trolling is not exactly hiding themselves, you know? Kind of just in your face about it. Exactly. That's okay. Right. Now... to just like jump into the nether see if I trade some golds with some halflings but they give me anything good for it Get some. of course like come on that was super obvious of course it was like told you told you didn't even have to bet money on that I already knew what was going to happen. Dang, I should have bet money. Just got to clear out this wall here. full. Nope, it's not full, but it is turning into a mess slowly but surely. Alright, before my fuck! Alright, damn it. Sleepy time. Give me hot. And then I'm gonna hop into the nether, make a few trades with the piglins, see what they give me. Get out my bed. Move, ya two! This is not a threesome. Move. No. Get out. Alright. Get lost. In fact, there. Now the bed's gone. What are you going to do? Nothing. Bitch. Exactly. Leave. And... Oh! Get out. My bed. Over here trying to stealthily take that bed. No! Alright. I will fight you over a bed, damn it. Although the problem is if I hit him... Then one of the iron golems is gonna hit me, and I'm not gonna survive an iron golem whack. Which kind of sucks when the villagers themselves are being the assholes and like, gosh darn it! And, but if you punch them, then like the iron golem skills, like you what, mate? It's like it's not fair. They started it first, damn it. And iron golems just basically go, I don't care who started, I'll end it. And that would end the series with it as well. Damn iron golems, why do you gotta be such assholes, you know? Alright, uh, can I make the cut sandstone? There we go. Alright, let's put that there. Hearing fire, then remember I lit up my um nether portal with fire. I thought it looked badass. Which it does. Dang it, that was almost flawless there. Hmm. I don't have a shovel right now. Make a shovel, make some stairs. Do I have any cobble on me? Yeah, I definitely have cobble. That was amazing. That sh it was an iron shovel with unbreaking on it. It couldn't survive the challenges.
Nope. There we go. Oh, I definitely don't have enough for this. Out already. Damn it. You should sh shot get a bow. Duh. Then golems can't bite your ankles. Um, hmm. I mean, that is true. I can just shoot them, but it's not like I have anything powerful right now. Oh my gosh, darn it. I'm rolling around with certified plebeian armor. Okay. I mean, hell. I don't even think a plebeian rolled around what I'm rolling around in. Too short. Just too short. Actually, uh, let's doing all that. We could rid of this and actually get this farm going. Oh crap. Oh right, the bee was trapped in there because that's the entrance to the hive, so when I put dirt there, the bee couldn't get out. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I'm not gonna talk about that one. I didn't, you know trapped a bee with no way for them to get out. I definitely didn't do that. You know? Totally did it. Anyway, and go ahead and put that there. slightly dangerous because while I'm hitting crops if I accidentally hit one of those bees that's it game over so you know well not really game over the worst I can do is poison and a prick and I can easily kill the bee but I don't want to kill the bees I want them to stay so that they themselves can help my crops go faster damn it that was an iron hole and it broke Craft an iron hole is useless. Just jump in water, right? That only works for endermans, not the bees. destroy all of that because I don't want um I made another I hold today and gave it to a few. It would have been poggers if you traded with a penguin and they threw you to another right hole. That would have been poggers. Otherwise it's just a really nice jester. and destruction fists, everything feels slow. Like, why just don't shovel this bad? Make it faster. Damn it, Mojang. Care about the gamer. And not about the money you make. Be right back, okay?
Get on. There we go. Alright. So that clears all of that out the way. And thanks for lurking, Flock. Not what I meant to do. Alright, gotta use a... Gotta use a stone cutter if I want to turn these into walls. You've seen better days, man. You've seen better days. Still forget to have to use stone cutter to turn those into walls. Or is oh shit, I can only use slabs with the cuts. It has to be the regular. Fucking hell, I think I fucked up. I think I might have fucked up. Nope, oh, it has to be regular stone. Damn it. Sandstone. Dang it. the day night cycle so short give me more time to build and work gosh done it game hey any time now game come on game oh my gosh game There we go. F sake. All right. So now I can just go ahead and put this in, and it barely covers shit. Not sure why that specific one is tried out when it's right next to the hive. Not really sure, but not my issue. I think in this corner here, I'm going to do the wheat. Hopefully there's enough light for this wheat. Let's remember. One, two, three, four. Alright. I think I have more wheat back in the household. Yeah, the stairs are gonna bother me. That's gonna bother me. So let me go ahead and do this just real quick. There we go. That's done. Put that there and just do this. Pad. Put that there. It's there and there. There and there. Hmm? Oh wait. Oh, this one's not in the right spot. I'm like, why is that doesn't match? What do I do? All right, I'm in sniper right to shoot when you get the word. What? You know what? I don't care. Fire.
All right, there needs to actually be flower down here, and that's why the bee keeps going up there, because he's looking for flowers. But, uh, I don't have flowers. Missed a few. Wow. I think shooting a few might be what gets you banned. That might be the flocking three. Is he still streaming? Because I think he'll accept it if he's already, like, dead. But if he's streaming, I don't think he'll accept it. Wait, can I lead a bee with flowers? Oh, shit. I did not know this was a thing. <laughs> I mean, I guess it would make sense. I guess a bee would be very attracted to flowers. This one also has some carrots on me, so I'll put the carrots right next to this. There we go. And then... I could have sworn I made some slabs, or did I forget to make slabs? I might have forgotten to make slabs. Undo that real quick. And this. Put that there. So that way, you don't accidentally fall in the middle of this. And of course, to provide light. Alright. And now then, where's my potatoes? There's my potatoes. Alright, so hopefully that bee gets super attracted to those flowers and fly back here. Meanwhile, I need more sand. I love the good old fashioned torch trick. I wonder why this is still a thing in Minecraft, because this is an old ass trick. You think with Mojang exception with fixing anything they consider to be a bug that can be exploited, that they would have gotten rid of this already. Especially since it doesn't make much sense. You would think the weight of a fallen cubic meter of sand would easily smother out a torch. Huh? No, I want sandstone. Just saying. Nah. What do you mean, nah? Like, why is it still a thing that I can just place a torch and then let the, a cubic meter of sand just fall on top of it and somehow the torch survives being crushed by a cubic meter of sand, you know? And multiple cubic meters of sand. Like, you gotta remember, it's not just one is sand. It's multiple cubic meters of sand. Now that's the play right there. We can get this torch on the side of a block. So when you go to find that block, you get your torch back. Oops. He's in wrong tool. I messed it up. I almost had it. You put it on the side so that way you automatically get your torch back. What is up, Moang? You can't change tradition. Hmm. Hmm. Is it tradition or is it laziness? The world may never know.
I love how the bee is literally being stopped by a fence. He can fly over. Or she. Oh no, it would definitely be a he. Because worker bees are a he, right? Like, the queen stays in a hive, and so do, like, all the female bees, and all the male bees are sent out the hive to collect pollen. You, you do know you can fly, right? I'm just saying, you do you know you can fly, right? Like, you're treating this like it's beyond difficult to do. I mean, look at that guy. You know, he came from another world just to watch you fell. And you're kind of felling super hardcore right now. Okay, you figure out he can fly. Alright. He believed hard enough, and he flew. Or his passing just told him to go for like a different torch. I mean, a different uh, flower. Actually, no, not like that design, not like that. One here, skip two, one there. Skip two. There we go. Torch. Torch. And that's fine. That'll cover that distance. Hey, if it works, it works. And, um, need more sand. Damn it. Great, the sun's going down. Not yet. I'm not ready. I don't have got her armor to survive the night in heart. I can probably survive the night. I still don't want to, you know, risk it for a biscuit. Has nothing to do with some previous journeys of mobs. But... Man, I would have wasted you so hard. Get the hell out of my bed, mate. My bed. Fuck off, you damn. Villager testificate. more than that. Dang it, that's all I get. That's all I get. Okay. Bye. Have a nice day. Okay, welcome back. Yeah, that's sand. You can't get pollen from sand. That bee is having a moment, you know? It's just having a moment. <laughs> Risk it for fuck. Well, I don't drink, so that's not a risk for me. Oh, that bee likes that flower. Well, I'm pretty much going to have to move all the flowers and push them over here so my bees can, you know, flower what I tell them to flower. Oh, take that out. There we go. Like, you fly where I tell you to fly, B. And if I have to put, like, you know, flowers all around here so you fly all around here, I will put the flowers around here, damn it. Right now, I need more sandstone.
damn it, it broke. Give me one more piece. Oh, did not need that one more piece. Now I need one more piece, thank you. And yes, I realized I could literally use a um, stone cutter for this, and it might be better. But it doesn't matter, we'll complete. Now, one, two, torch. One, two, torch. to wall. Oops, that's not one two. That's one two. Alright. And do this. This. And this. Just to keep the area lit up. Although the only problem is um if I can do it like this. Ah fuck. Okay, I have an easy way of getting in and I mean I have an easy way of getting in and out, but not without destroying crops in the process. Damn it. So I'm going to need an area that is safe for me to enter. But the problem is if I put a gate in, I'm probably going to have villagers walking in here. You know what, I'll put a gate here. Or just leave that open so I can walk through it. There. Alright, so now those crops can actually, you know, grow, that would be nice. Currently, they have not grown. You know, screw it, I'm going to nothing. I'm trading with the pig ones, see what they give me. Also, I need to make a grindstone, so if I find more enchanted stuff, I can de-enchant it and get some XP levels from that. Because, in case you haven't noticed, my XP is not the greatest right now. AKA doesn't even exist. But first, clear inventory of all this junk. Most of it dirt. Hmm? Your XP is just shy of legal. What the fuck? I said hello and what, you, what is up, nobody? Just come in, your XP is almost legal. Like, gosh, fucking darn it. Like, stop by my XP, you perv. Stone bricks. Can I make stone bricks in this? Oh, I can. Well, that would have been more efficient to do if I would have known earlier. Should have done earlier. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm supposed to collect more oak wood so I can finish the house. Oh, that's gonna be a whoops for me. That's it. Whoopsies! What the fuck? Why is my mouse just moving there? Alright, put that away, put that away. Those slabs can go in there. Where's the plant shit? There's the plant shit. That can go in there, that can go in there. Oh, I have more flowers to plant. And, uh, why am I looking at this chest? Meadows chest. Put this away. And take the gold with me. Gonna go into the nether. See if the piglins will give me anything good. But first, house stuff. Oh, boy. Alright, I'm gonna need a lot more oak. I definitely need a lot more oak. Walls can go in there. I don't need them right now. I do need more torches, though. So let me go ahead and make me a few more torches. Like so. Alright. Go to the torches. Um, Coal goes here. 
not need a whole with me in another. So I can go there. Tool's fine, shield's fine, I have gold stuff, that's fine. Actually, I can leave the stone bricks here. And there. Breed the cows and the sheeps. Because that's the thing, if I die in the nether, it doesn't matter about, like, what I bring into it. Because that just means new world again. Well, uh, you're just gonna have to be horny. And watch as the other two fucks. And he's like, wait, I wanna fuck. And he's like, nah, there's nothing to fuck with. So, you know, get wrecked. That one cow. That was the odd man out. I mean, at least there's four in there now, so you'll have a chance next time. Oh, right, you are forever alone, sheep. Did I not find your partner? Oh, hmm. Right, um, let's quickly find you a partner. Oh, sorry, just feel like Fields of gold! Yeehaw! I'll throw the seeds at the... the excess seeds at the villagers. Oh wait, there's no farmer villagers, so they won't plant these crops anymore. Also, plenty of oak here. And... oh shit, did I not make a field for beets? Do I give a damn about beets? Cause I can't even throw, like, the beets at the villagers to, like, get them to breed. I think I literally have to throw, like, beet stew at them to get them to breed. Oh no, I think I can throw the beets. It's bread that I need to um, throw out them to get them to breed. You know, these beets can stay in these inefficient farms. And I can use them as breeding materials. Make these villagers breed for my amusement. Also, a couple more flowers. Just really need to get these bees to work in my favor here. Alright, farm, I have returned. You're not fully grown, you're not fully grown, you're almost there. It's just I think you have one more tent to go before you're fully there. So I do believe it's 8 by 8 64. Because if 8x8 is 64, that would explain why Mojang made one block of water do a 4x4 um, four four grid. Because that would literally cover 64 crops. Oh, sheets. Dang it, these day-night cycles are brutal. Yeet! Ouch. Don't you pun me, villager. I don't care. Also, what's your trade? Shit. Also, why are you a leather worker? Alright, cauldrons. Need to really take care of those cauldrons. I gotta get rid of anything that's like a work block that I don't want the villagers working. Or just keep them away from the villagers. And a leather worker is definitely one of them. There's practically nothing more useless than a leather worker. And I don't care if they give you, like, saddles at the higher tiers. It's like, okay, but I can find that in a cave. Or the nether. So it's like, well, why would I need it here? Hmm, apparently those are my only potatoes here. And are they grown yet? Nope. Also, that could have been real dangerous. That could have been like a poison potato if I did that. Alright, good. He can't just fall into these fields and destroy it. That's really good. Alright. Um, do I have enough iron to make an auto call poster? Five for a hopper. That requires like ten iron. Hmm. 
and worry about it later when I have like iron to spare like that, which I currently don't have, so I may issue it. Alright, so seeds can currently go into the plant shit chest. I forgot to plant the flowers, oh well. Alright guys, I'm going to another wish me luck. Let's we'll see how this goes. I might just get completely and utterly wasted. Or I might just get another right hole for them. Is there, is there anything good they can give me that I actually would want? Like, I would have preferred they just have a random chance of handing you netherite scrap. You know, I would take that over a netherite hole. Alright. Mistakes have probably been made. Oh fuck, are you fucking me right now? Why are you there? Why are you there? Why are you there? Why are you there? You know what? It pissed off, alright? As long as it's pissed off, that's all that matters. It'd be nice if the piglins were mad at everything in another, except for like the zombie piglins. So it's like, if they see anything that's not a piglin, they attack it. You know what I mean? Hmm? Where did I get a stone slab from? That's a bit random, but okay. Oh, what forest right here? All right, hopefully. Oh, why is this thing to do with Lutie be Oh God, this. And hold on. It's just some nuggets. Put down torches that will stop the spawning of zombie piglins in order to allow regular piglins to spawn. And remember, no mining of gold in front of the pigments. They will get mad about that. Okay, I got strew mites. this. Now then if I hold this in my hand, will that keep the hoglins at bay? Because I'm definitely not hoglin ready. Oh my gosh, are you? Shit. Wow. Um, hmm. I think this world has been incredibly good to me since the last one. The last one I spawn in a Soul Sand Valley, this one, I take a quick hop and a skip and oh, there's an effing um bastion right there. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. An effing bastion right there. Now luckily the Piglin's brutes don't exist yet, so if I can get a hopper. I can loot those chests and the piglins won't get mad at me. Because basically, if you don't know, you use a hopper and then you smash the hoppers and the piglins won't get mad. But if you smash the chest, the piglins will get mad. Okay, I'm not gonna dig any further down. This is the nether. Like, let's be reasonable here. Oh, come on, nope. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Slay him, oh damn. Slay him, oh damn. Well, um, there was an attempt. As the internet would say, there was an attempt. Mm -hmm. 
Now he... Those poor baby picklins. They're scared of that brute. Oh shit, I didn't bring my bow with me. Alright, I'll go and slay the hoglins. There we go. Luckily, the other guy did most of the work. So I just went in there and did clean up. It sounds like a fully adult pit. Oh, it could be the Bastion. Because the Bastion is like literally right there for some reason. I don't know why. Also, what the hell is this shit? You know, all it takes is one hoglin to end the series here. Also, I do believe, believe this is dirt. Alright, I hear them. Are they on the other side of this wall here? Oh shit, this is dangerous. Now that I think about it. Shouldn't do that. What I need to do. If, if, if there's some soul sand. Why is it just deaf? Okay, why did it spawn like in a, such a way that it is deaf all around me? And all it takes is one yeet, and that's it. And there happened to be something that likes yeeting. might not want to stand there, kiddo. Oh, they could be above me. This is a really weird, like, place. Like, I don't even know what to do here. Because it's that there, but it's no safe way to get down. Because it's the nether. Like, you don't ever want to mm -hmm. dig down, and you definitely don't want to dig down in the nether. You know, that's the death. Hmm? Okay. You can just do that to yourself. Just keep hurting yourself, that's absolutely fine. Just gonna put that there. Uh, the reason why I'm putting that there is that stops any hogland from just coming into this tunnel and be like, It's time to wreck some face! Of course that had to happen. And there's no black stone. Great. I know there's no point to like the warp block logs. It's just like they exist, but they're definitely useless. Alright, I'm not getting anywhere with this tunnel here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's risky. This gets risky. But I did see that bastion down there, and I am wearing gold. 
Not to mention this is before Piglin Brutes, so I don't have to worry about like a, just a pissed off Piglin attacking me the moment I get to the Bastion. Okay, this is still 1.16. 1.1 and not 1.16.2 where the piglin brutes would exist and would have wrecked my face for there being another. Also, I hear you, but I rather would hear your non zombified version because your non zombified version would give me trades. You're just useless. Right, and I'm nowhere near it down. Oh, awesome. Gosh, darn it. Oh, I didn't even notice they retextured Netherrack to look a little bit more like dirt and less like flesh. Is there any safe way to drop? Wait, Brutes? Uh, yeah, so in 1.16.2, there's gonna be a new mob called, um, Piglin Brute. And the whole entire thing is, they're like the Piglins, but they're always pissed the fuck off at you. So when they see you, they'll try to kill you. They don't give a damn about gold, they don't give a damn about you wearing gold, they just want you dead. And they attack quite strongly as well. Yeah, yeah, oh yes, they have golden axes. Okay, so that's a bus. Ah, oh, you're fucking with me. And this is why this is here. Because they want to attack, but they see the fungus and like, nope. It's like, but I want to kick his ass in. I gotta kick his ass in. It's like, nah, you can't, because I got a fungus. Wait, that didn't sound right. It's like, but I gotta kick his ass in. I'm going to kick his ass, damn it, no. What's the matter? I want to kick his ass, but I can't, damn it. Come on, I'm right here. What are you scared of? What are you scared of? I didn't even have a bow. Like, look, there's no bow in my inventory. Man, I wish I could make strings out of this so I can make a bow. So, what's the lore with them and not liking more fungus? So, they don't like anything related to the Endermans, believe it or not. And this warp fungus is apparently something that was caused by the Endermans. Yeet this baby's off a cliff! Oh, fuck! God damn! Got the fuck down, lady! Yeet! As for the babies, like, the babies try to attack you once, but if you hit them once, they get super scared and run away. But also, like, the hoglins in general don't like anything that's related to warp or soul fire. So, like, I could have also put down, like, a soul fire torch that would have scared them. I could have lit soul sand on fire that would have scared them. A soul fire campfire would have scared them, as well as a soul fire lantern. And who knows, maybe it has something to do with their creation, that's why they don't like it. Oh yeah, fucking with me, it's night time. But as of right now, the reason why I'm exiting the nether, even though that uh, bastion is like right there, and I really do want to go in the bastion, I really am going to have to wait until I get like um, a hopper, so I can hopper the items out of the chest. And get like good shit without the piglins getting like super mad for superficial shit because the piglins be like that. <laughs> Burp. Also, it's also time to end the stream here.
So as always, if you're currently in the stream and you have someone you would like to raid, please put their name in chat right now with the correct spelling so we know who we're raiding. Because if not, I'll just see who's on that I care, I like their content, and just raid them. So do that now while I am just doing the classic putting away my stuff from an adventure and getting ready to wind down. Pokemon a few above. Okay. That's one option. Because honestly, I'm feeling like... Oh, seems like, um, burning radio view. Because I might just do, like, Cyber Wolf. Silver Sky, 45. Okay, that's another option. Any more for any more? And she says, what's up? Aisha could have been here on stream rather than speaking to you. That would have been nice. Also, I love how, in another, you fight something that's like, what, over two cubic meters of, like, solid ham, and you get, like, two pork chops. Like, I still want to know how that equation works out. It's like, a average hoglin has to be more than, like, two cubic meters of pure pork. And then you drop, like, a pork or chop or two when you kill it. It's like, either we're incredibly efficient as a play inefficient as a play um, player when we cut them up, or is some bullshit going on here? What the hell is that thing? Quartz brick? What? The fuck is this thing? How long has this been in the game? The fuck? Is this? Minecraft physics. Just get looting. Um, how long has this material been in the game? I know, right? I found out like two weeks ago. Like, apparently they're just court bricks. Just like, you know, something that existed. Oh shit, I can't, uh, hmm. Might have been a bit hasty turning that all into bricks. But it is what it is. Dang. When did that exist? It. Okay, it's a 1.16 update. So why did no one cover that, like, oh, in 1.16 there's a new type of brick called quartz brick? You know, shit just comes into existence, no one breaks it up, no one mentions it. Right? Because I've seen, like, all the updates videos, not one of them mentions, like, oh, yeah. And a new update, there's now a new thing called Quartz Bricks. And it looks like this. What the fuck? Whatever. Whatever. You know, just like stuff coming into beings. That's just fine. I really hate that I can't uncraft nether wart blocks. It's such bullshit. That should be uncraftable. Okay. It's like, what can you even do with netherworld blocks? They just exist. Also, what do they even qualify as? Because you pick them up with a hole. I, you know, I'm going to consider some plant shit for now. I am drunk. Oh, of course you're right, so... So, so far, if there's any mods in chat, can I get a poll? How are you doing? I am all good. How are you, Aisha? Can we get a poll for either rating of you, rating... What was the other one? Skylark High Drunk of G... 
Oh my gosh, darn it. Alright, let me see. Who? What was the names again? So it was a few above. Or a Silver Sky 45. Alright, let me try my own polling tool here. Above Silver Sky Cyber Wolf One Live correctly. Oh, you cannot change the timing on this. All right. Okay, guys. Do you guys see a poll on your screen? If so, go ahead and vote. Ahead and vote, and let's see who are you rating. Oh, yeah, do that. And do I have a shovel? Nope. Damn it. First try, nailed it every time. And there's not even sticks in the mist chest. Gosh, darn it. Going on, I get something here. Where's plant stuff? There's plant stuff. You know, really should just dig a tunnel from the house going all the way to the farm, so that way I don't have to deal with this land that looks like it's got absolutely bombarded it's a high hell. Rate B, hopefully you are growing the stuff. Okay. And I don't want to hear like you had problems finding your way outside the thing. Your B. Oh, give me that BS. Haha. Uh -huh. That B gives BS. Haha. Uh -huh. Nice one. You like TV sh game shows like Jeopardy or Wheel of Fortune? I'm okay with uh, Jeopardy, not so much Wheel of Fortune. Why? Are you recommending the Jeopardy or the Wheel of Fortune game? Are any of these done? Because I honestly just do not know what a fully grown crop in this texture pack looks like. Is it this one here? Okay, it's that one where the leaves goes all crazy. Is this done? Nope, nowhere near done. Is it this one here? Nope. Okay, so what the heck the thing? There you go. Really need a texture pack that makes it super easy to see when the crops are fully grown. Gracefully descending from the. You okay, mate? Like, I think as an inset, you should be the last one flying into the ocean, you know? I mean, I know you're over like a cubic meter, so the ocean is probably not going to do much to you. 
But, you know... Don't fly in the ocean, you're a bee. You know? Can we remember that? Water bee next. Oh, gosh, darn it. Bee, don't bump into me. I slaughter you if I can get away with it, but I can't. Bee should not fly, right? <laughs> yes, the bee shouldn't be flying around. Alright, let me go ahead, end the poll, see what you guys vote for so we know who we raiding. It's been more than enough time, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the game here. And I go ahead and make this full screen. And let me see. Polling. Close. And what's the results? Wait, that didn't show me he won. No life poll. That didn't show me who won. What the hell? See, this is what I get for using a polling extension. Hmm. Hmm. The view's been going for six hours. He might be ending his stream soon. Did the view say anything about like, ending his stream soon? Because there's no point rating if the guy's just going to end. You know what, screw it, just gonna rate it for you, call it a day. Alright guys, so we're rating a view above. As always, when we rate somebody, it is get rated noobs. As for emotes, I don't have any yet, just yet working on that, so just spam whatever emotes that you have, but make sure you put that in that good old-fashioned get rated noobs. As for this recording, this recording is going to go ahead and end here. If you like this, please be sure to tune in tomorrow from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or 1900 to 2100 hours, for those of you who live in the area, a 12-hour time format, where I'll be streaming Titanfall, because tomorrow's Thursday. Titanfall Thursdays, you know? I'll be streaming some Titanfall 2. Other than that, if you'd like to catch up on anything you missed, you can just tune into my YouTube at youtube.com forward slash Cliff Bees the Best because you know I am. Or you can just type in exclamation mark YouTube if you're currently live on stream right now. Other than that, it's time to rate a view and have a good day. So, bye, internet.